bottom side, it looks like as of right now, it's going to be a Hamlin, Robert Hamlin versus Richard Perry semifinal. Still late in the second period on both of those matches, but those are the guys leading. Perry leading by five, Hamlin by eight at this point. We will bump up to 97 kilos. Quarterfinal, Joe Nord, the Minnesota Storm. He's in the red singlet. Arjun Gill of Canada in the blue. Dustin Kilgore advances to the semifinals. We'll meet the winner of this match. The 97 kilo semis. Joe Nord uh, won the Minnesota Storm Holiday Cup two years ago, not this year. It looks like he was fourth in the Fila Junior World Team Trials back in 2007. Passivity there on Gill. That's his warning. Gill working on the head, Nord trying to pass that elbow. Gill tries to duck under and catch that right leg. Passivity on uh, Nord, so one apiece. So we are still scoreless, approaching the one minute mark in the period, and Gill going to get put on the shot clock. Remember, um, if we are scoreless, you know, nearing that one minute mark, someone's gonna get put on the shot clock regardless. Uh, so Gill was put on the shot clock. Doesn't appear he's gonna score in this 30 second time frame. So Nord is going to get a point. Caution against Gill. a relatively even first period. I mean, neither guy's really been in deep on a shot attempt at all. More of a Greco style match than anything. Both guys staying up top. And the first period will end. Nord of the Minnesota Storm takes the 1-0 lead. Quarterfinals of this one at 97 kilos. Got other 97 kilo bouts going on right now. Kale Byers versus Micah Burek on Matt D. Uh, David Zabriski, Mihail Ganev of Bulgaria on Matt C. Um, looks like on Matt B, you got Dom Bradley versus Justin Grant at a 125 pound matchup. We're back to the center here, 97 kilos. Joe Nord wrestling for the Minnesota Storm in the red singlet, and Arjun Gill of Canada in the blue. Someone trying to pick up some offense here in the second period and win this match. Uh, 
Only point coming on the passivity shot clock in the first period. And I, I can't recall a legit shot attempt in the first period. So, you know, I, if that stays up, I would imagine Gill's going to get put on the shot clock just the same. Let's go back and forth. And there you have uh, Gill with the shot attempt going out of bounds. One point on the board for Gill now. And he ties things up at one apiece. Just over two minutes to go. Tried to go for a little knee pick. It was more down on the shin, unable to convert. He left that high hand, so he couldn't bring it down, and Gill catches it. Able to circle around for a takedown and two. Gill working a lace now with the two-point advantage. And uh, it doesn't look like he's going to get it locked up. Oh, he gets it. He hopped sides with it. Didn't look tight, but... Gill able to get the uh, conversion there on the leg lays, bump his lead up to 5-1. And Nord going to have to open things up here. Was up 1-0. Entering the second period, has given up five straight since. seconds now for Nord. He's going to have to try it. He's going to need a four-pointer to win this one, but concedes the takedown to Gill. Gill now holds a 7-1 lead, and he's going to cruise to victory here in this match. Over Minnesota Storm's Joe Nord, he will advance to the semifinals at 97 kilos, where he will face Dustin Kilgore. He's currently number two on the American ladder, right behind Jake Varner. Kilgore with a win over Sho Yasuda of Japan in the quarterfinals. We're going to have a topside quarterfinal at 120.